Seoul is truly a foodie's paradise. I can't believe all the food that I had when I was there. I stayed at the Nine Tree Hotel in Myeongdong, which was a perfect location because you have lots of shops and restaurants and street vendors right at your doorstep. I also had a lot of traditional Korean food as well, so come along on my food journey. The first food that I would like to introduce is this street food. There's an egg on a piece of cake and it's kind of half steamed and half baked. I remember it was about a dollar Canadian and um, it's fun watching the street vendors make it. Next is this breakfast food which is abalone congee and look at all the different side dishes that it came with. To be honest the congee was so-so but the side dishes more than made up for it. It was a feast for the eyes. Next we had this very flavorful chicken herbal soup with some um, side dishes such as salad and the chicken was so smooth even though it was boiled um, and all the flavors were in the broth so don't let the color of the broth fool you. There was also um, rice cakes and mushrooms in the broth and as you can see earlier there it comes with um, some noodles as well so carbs to make sure that you are full. And here's the waitress cutting the pieces of uh, chicken for us. Um, and I find that's a common theme in a lot of restaurants. The um, waitress or waiter will serve you at your table, uh, including this one, which is kind of like a barbecue on a hot plate. So there's meat and uh, aromatics such as onions and green onions in the center. And you can see that uh, signature red barbecue sauce, chili sauce. And there's also some rice cakes too, as you can see, and some of the rice cakes were filled with cheese inside, so extra decadent. There's also um, mozzarella cheese, um, which will melt around the outer ring uh, in that dish serveware. And you can see you can dip the rice cakes or your chicken into the cheese when you eat it. Next, we have Korean barbecue, the famous barbecue. And again, we were served um, at the table as well. And I have to say it's so healthy to wrap these uh, morsels of barbecue meat in um, lettuce and eat it on one package. Somehow makes the whole thing feel less guilty. After some flaming hot barbecue where you went to the Korean dessert cafe to have these bing su's, which is a very creamy type of shaved ice. And we went to a few different stores and my favorite flavor was this injiomi flavor, which has powdered dry bean as well as almonds and chewy rice cakes. Next, we had this giant plate of flavorful braised chicken with vegetables as well as sweet potato noodles. And you can pick how spicy you want it. And uh, somehow, um, the Korean restaurants manage to get the cooking time just right for chicken. It's always tender. Now this next restaurant was so popular that all the tables were already full five minutes after opened for lunch. Uh, it had these really thin skin dumplings um, that were steamed as well as cooked in broth. And this cold noodle oh, was so good. The sauce was just out of this world. And I love the chewy noodles as well. Next, when we were at a wet market, we stumbled across this alleyway uh, where all the restaurants inside served fish. Um, there were these steamed eggs in pots as well as braised fish in that red sauce. Not too spicy, just a little bit spicy, as well as these grilled fish. Communication was a little bit difficult because there was no English menu. It was more of a local eatery, but it was very memorable because it tasted very good. There were also plenty of cafes and coffee shops and dessert shops um, for us to rest during the day or at night. So these were so cute. They looked like potted plants and the spoons look like little shovels, but they're actually desserts um, and cakes. So it was at this place called Banana Tree and they had very Instagram worthy drinks as well. There was also a Hello Kitty cafe, which you saw earlier. 
we also went to this cafe called White Secret, which had a healing room with salt crystals in them. Now, uh, also Mango Six, I think, is also another very popular dessert cafe. Um, and we went there for different cakes and mango desserts. I think we probably had way too much ice cream when we were there. And I think this was probably my favorite, Korean fried chicken. We had no idea that the servings were so large. These were like larger than American servings. And we got some chicken and came with wedges. And we didn't know that, so we also got fries. So that made us very full. Next, we had this steamed seafood pot. And I have to say it looked better than it tasted. Um, so I probably wouldn't go back there again. But here again, we have the ladies uh, serving us at the table by portioning out all the different pieces of shellfish. Uh, and we had octopus and shrimp as you saw earlier as well. This very, very tall green tea and vanilla ice cream is a must. And you will see them available at street vendors. Next, we have a um, green tea cafe um, called Osalok. So they have any green tea dessert you can imagine. Brownies, cake, ice cream, parfaits. Um, and they were very good as well and also sell souvenirs. I hope you liked my foodie tour of Seoul. I will try to leave as much information in the description box below. Please subscribe for more foodie tours in the future. Bye!